Yo, what's up, buddy? Hey, uh, Thomas, answer that accelerator question. Oh, uh, Lawrence, what is the difference between phased video and the accelerator course? Great question, man. Really good question, actually. I've never had someone ask that. So check this out. Um, let me go back to the website. If you go to my MIC, uh, let's go back to the phase study guide, right? Phase study guide is still a really, really, really big list of separate videos. So very separate videos. And while this is a really good structure, a lot of this is for the annual and lifetime members. So monthly get access to, I think, half of this. The accelerator course is very, it is linear as possible. So if we go back to what the accelerator course is for anybody wondering, this is an eight hour one video guide. So it's like one big video and it's literally everything we've ever done. So while Faye made a really, really good list of videos, we leave nothing out of this guys. And the way I like about the accelerator course is Joe, dude, it took Joe six months to create. So Joe is really good at, at one thing. He's really good at teaching in a linear fashion. Like you should really start here and end here. But he talks as, like the thing that I like about it is he's educating you the whole time. So, you know, while, you know, Faye gave a really good list and believe me, I'm not shitting on Faye's list by any means. It's from the same teacher from start to finish, Joe. And he explains it in a way that takes you like Amazon's logo from A to Z. So you're going to grow with Joe the whole time. While Faye's video list is super good, this is from like 10 different teachers. You know, these are all the mods. So I think it's just really good in the sense that this is the first thing to watch and then you want to get into the phase study guide to kind of complement it. But I'm telling you right now, the accelerator course is hands down the best way to start, especially if you're brand new from minute one to minute end. And then you get into our video library list. Does the, I hope that answers your question. Yes, yes, Bao just said it. Phase list is more of a compilation of videos. This is like the same teacher, you have homework on, you know, minute one, and then we transpire and you graduate on hour eight. Like that's that's how that's kind of aligned. Yeah. Yeah, one, one's an actual course, guys. The other one's just a compilation of videos, like where to start and stuff, because yep. you have like a thousand videos. If, if I were to say it like this, I'll even say it better. I think this is probably the best way to say it. Guys, the accelerator course, um, if you are just a monthly and don't have access to this, that's why we have the phase video guide. We did the best we could with phase structure to mimic for the monthly members what you get in the accelerator course because most, most annuals paid a little bit of a premium and got this on sale. Um, if you guys have any questions about that, though, just text me. But um, yeah, the accelerator course for sure. For a deal on the accelerator because I think you, if new traders don't yep. be cheap, man, because it, it shows you step by step everything. Yep. What I do guys is if you want to buy this all a cart, I'll hook you up a little bit, but if you want to get annual through me or lifetime, I mean, I'll really hook you up with this. Like, like you're not going to be paying nine ninety seven. Just, just text my line and we'll figure it out. <clears throat> yeah. Cause it speeds up tremendously. Cause when, when you start trading, you have no idea where to start. So Faye did a good job. Right. They, they did this before the accelerator. Well, and I think, I think Val just from like, kind of like what I learned in school and I think how people do it, is this gets actually a little intimidating. You go, oh my God, look at all these videos versus, hey, this is just one video that's eight hours long. So you'll see your kind of like, you'll see your progression points. Like as you go through it, it's literally just like a long docu-series <laughs> like on trading. And it's easier to learn that way, in my opinion. Dude, what are you trading over there, man? What do you got going? Oh, did we lose Bow to a trade? Oh, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, you better not be stuck in something, you bastard. <laughs> Checking out him doing the short. <laughs> good luck. When you trade those things, you better use stops, better predefine your risk. These things are deadly, man. So Yeah. Dude, but, the, the range humility. Be careful, but, man. The range. The top, you know, what, what he did was he didn't do the – he waited for the top first, though, at least. Yep, yep. I love that. But new traders and voice shit like that, that's how you die. Dude, I, you know what, man? I think about a long time ago, like I think it was a couple of years, I said, you know what, man? It's never worth it to me these days to play something so rangy because I just, my sweet spot is like, 
the two to three dollars, the two to four fifty. You know what I mean? These things are fucking dangerous, bro. Because even your bias might be right. Like, dude, say say you want to find do a first bounce on this. Like, say a, a new trader's coming in, and he's like, oh man, for, but he gets in here because he thinks that's the bottom, dude. That's five dollars right there. Like your your thesis was right, but oh my god, man, can you weather five dollars before you get the bounce you need? You know what I mean? Like it's it's just really volatile, man. So be careful guys on that. Even, even right here, if you wait to the niche, three, three, uh, 33.85 to a low of 31, bro. Not a lot of, and, and like, that's not even a bad starting point for the first bounce, like downwards of here, you know, like that's, that's the crazy part. So just be careful, man, if you're dealing with that kind of range. Guys, anybody on YouTube or anybody in the webinar chat, do you guys have questions for me about today? Travers starting it off. Do you ever avoid something based on market cap? Uh, GSAT, we'll pull that up, is a low price market cap. Bow, you're really good at answering this stuff. What do you I, I don't care about market caps. Just look at the chart, draw the lines, see the range. I, I was just going to say the same oh, thing. The float, really the float determines pretty much the market cap. Yep. So I just look at the float. <clears throat> I was going to say, guys, if you can find a trade in it and you're able to uh, you know, obey your stops, it, I, it, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't harp on that stuff super belligerently. Like if I think I can get a trade in there somewhere. And as long as you set a stop, as Bal says, you can trade anything you want, but you got to set a stop. Like you have to obey your stops. Why are people afraid of low price, large caps? This is a $2 billion market cap. So I, I, I use the lines. I use the prices. Why be scared of the market cap? Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. Um, the only the only thing that's kind of scary is if you have a low float. So just avoid the low float more than the low market cap. You know what? The, you know what? The, there's only kind of like every now and then a really small exception that I will avoid. If something says like holdings in it, I don't like trading like holdings. So like if it's something like that, dude, I like those can be very manipulated and massive money. So I don't know. I mean, but still, again, like you can trade anything as long as you have a plan and, a, and risk management, dude, honestly. So, you know, I hope that answered your question, brother. Guys, questions, questions on anything that ran today. What do we have today? We had, we had GANX, we, which just was very, very, very disappointing on these bounces. Just not much at all. Uh, we have BBIG, which in the morning after that stuff move was total opportunity. But then, you know, dude, this is the, Bell, look at this, look at this, dude. This is the beauty of our process. I'll, I'll take these away. Cause I was talking about this earlier, dude, look at, look at zombie hour. Like bro, after the first hour, like, are you kidding me? Do you know how many years of money we've saved just obeying zombie hour? Like, bro, this could not be more to the T. Look at this. Since 7.30, or well, 7.30 on the West Coast, since 10.30, since nothing but squeeze shorts that are waiting for an all-day fade. Like, you guys have to understand how important time-based trading is. The first hour, shorts have the edge. Look at what, look at what Bao did, dude. That is so pretty. I can't even stand it, man. Waited for the stuff. Got it. Short. Wait, Bao, you shorted first, right? That's not a long, is it? I almost can't even tell. Yeah, dude, in the morning, well, don't, don't worry about the two at the bottom. I actually overfilled by accident. I did a typo, but uh, oh, 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 okay. I yeah, see. So I shorted at the top and then I waited for, I waited for the top to set and then I shorted and I covered all the way down. That is the first time ever I've looked at your chart and I almost thought you longed first. Like, that's kind of like, that's kind of crazy looking. Yeah, it's so fast. I was going to say, because it's so scrunched in together. Um, but guys, look what he did. Look what he did. The first hours for shorting. What did he do? He didn't trade all this chop, which squeezes out all the shorts looking for all day faders and greedy fucks. And yeah, then what did he do? I warned about the zombie on this stock. Yep. Zombie man, whoever shorted this shit died. Dude, and, dude. and here's what Bow did. Dude, look at look at what Bow did. He came back for reversal hour and then did exactly what you do in a reversal hour. You do one of two things. There's literally one of two things. You short previous resistance points that are hitting during this time or you start to get aggressive if it massively starts tanking under VWAP after it's been above VWAP all day. Look what he did. <laughs> like, I, I, I have a little more. I covered 11.18 and I'll cover the rest of the, rest of the tank. The reason, the reason why I think this is one of the sexiest charts now possible is because it's so belligerent process. It's actually crazy. Like, dude, this is literally so spot on process. It's like the Mona Lisa. Yeah, you know, you know the zombie hours, guys. Zombie hours, they tanked it. 
to trap. And all of a sudden it went from 10, 20 to 1250. What the fuck, right? <laughs> and, and, and Bell avoided all of that based on just simple time-based trading. I, 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 I'm like, dude, this stock has killed everybody for days now. I was like, fuck this shit. I'm not going to, I'm going to walk away. So I actually made money short on this. I'm proud, all this oh, I'm like, proud of you, man. <laughs> Even, even we're getting better after freaking eight and 20 years, man. I'm telling you, dude, like there's, you never stop learning, man. You're a student. Yeah, for just fucking wait, man, zombie hour stuff on these stocks are just crazy. So if you do trade, place a hard stop, guys. You are not going to be fast enough. You're going to go to the bathroom, take a piss and come back and you just shit yourself too. <laughs> Correct, man. Correct. And, and, and if you want to go as far, guys, as to say, instead of it being untradeable, if you want to go as far as to say, is there long opportunities? Dude, look at the morning. That was a short opportunity. This was a total long opportunity. And then look at reversal hour. There was a short opportunity. Like this is picture perfect process. Picture perfect. This stock is so deadly because it broke under VWAP. You thought it would be over. So it's shorts, right here. Here. shorts were like, okay, pop the VWAP. And it kind of hovered there, right? And you're like, you're, you're trying to short that thing and go down the next, you know, blows you away. Yep. 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 Right here in the morning and right here late day. Do not be fooled guys, especially when you're dealing with a stock that's kind of close to its highs. Notice how, you know, this isn't a day one where it's down here. This is like, this is like a day two almost. Right. And it's kind of, it's just been teasing around this level all day and reclaiming. I mean, even this in the morning, man, you have to be careful of like this kind of reclaim even in the first hour. So, you know, uh, Ater, let's see, you guys have a question on Ater. Ater just is a stock that I, I stopped out. Perfect stop, bro. What'd you stop? Literally right here. Yep. About right there. Yeah, that's 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 perfect, dude. I love that. I love that. So the, way, the way you do stops is this, guys. Notice what the line is. The, nine, the line was at nine bucks. I was making money shorting nine all the time. And then the last time it went back up, dude, you have to place the stop, man. Because once it breaks that, you're fucked. So once it broke up, it would shove a buck. And Bao, like when you size correctly, which I'm sure you did, dude, it's like, this is a peanuts loss, right? Like it's peanuts. It's not, it's not that bad. That, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. So guys, like, I, like, don't play the cushion game where you're like, hey, I made 8,000, I can risk seven. Hey, I made 8,000, I'll risk 300 bucks if you take a trade like, you know what I mean? This is an example also of a channel trade. I was channel trading the nine line. Yep. But then once the channel breaks, you better get the hell out. Yeah, right here. That's what he means, guys, right here. We're looking at right here. So, you know, short resistance at the nine, cover, short, cover, short. That's a channel. And then uh, as it broke right here, that's, that's what Val's that talking about, this whole thing right here. Um, I think we have a question on YouTube. What do you think about EFTR? Well, we kind of answered this earlier. I think about, read my response. <laughs> <laughs> what did you, where did you put it? On the YouTube. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't say, uh, I think you should join MIC. Yeah. TJ, um, yeah, question, the, questions like that, man, I'm telling you, you will learn in a week's time being an MIC member, I promise you. Um, uh, this is not an alert service, guys. You guys want, yeah. I think you're trying to ask me so you can go long or short this stuff, and that's not how you trade, guys. You got to learn the process. Me telling you what I think is not going to do shit because it's just a one, I'm just giving you a fish and saying the, the key is to learn the process, guys. Yeah, instead of one pick, it's like, well, learn why this would be a good short or a good long, right? And when it comes to time what, frame, TJ, let me ask you this. Why are you not in MIC? Is $99 too expensive? Yeah, TJ, we got a 50% off. Like you're you're, you're right? asking a $32 stock. So obviously, you can afford to buy a $32 stock. What's the reasoning, brother? We can bring you on if you want. <laughs> All right, I covered out BBBIG, so that's good. Oh, were you, <laughs> were you secretly in BBIG, you bastard? <laughs> yeah, I covered down the level. Uh, <laughs> nice. I tanked over, of course. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Val's, right. Val's good. I know Val's, Val's terminal. He's going to be like, I'm crying. BBIG's at 10, 980. I, I, I covered, I went from 1157 to 1108, so I'm good. Oh, dude, nice job. That was a sick trade. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Nice skill out there. I love that. See how he paid himself, guys? And then once you pay yourself on a scale like this, say this so yeah, so, back. So TJ, so TJ and YouTube, why why are you not in MIC? Scares yeah. Tell us a real reason because you're cheap. We don't care what the reason is. We don't know who you are anyway. So because you're yeah, cheap. Yeah, we love to know, man. Seriously. Because <laughs> uh, you don't think MIC works because you rather lose that money. you rather gamble that money. Bro, because, we, uh, we have a sell for 99 bucks right now. So I don't, I don't understand why anybody... No, it's enjoying. 
Guys, I'll, I'll show you right now. Go to the Join Now page. I think Alex is still running it, and he is. He is. Join the club. 50% off right now for the first for the first month. So for the first month, you guys can get 50% off. Dude, there's no excuse. Anybody. TJ, anybody, man. I'm telling you right now. Seriously. I, I, I really want to know, guys, because I, I joined these public webinars not because Tosh can teach all this. I joined to get the mindset so I can see how we can – educate better or run our business better but i'm just yeah. really curious why aren't you guys in mic is 99 dollars even too expensive or just because we're cheap or because we give too much free information and you think you have enough and i i think man I, i'm so sick of of guys saying uh thank you thank you i've been watching you for years i learned enough from you i'm like dude this is just the free stuff you're learning right dude I, what, what you can really be learning so they, they spent they're spinning their wheels for years thanking me for years and still is not consistently profitable. Dude, I, I really try not to bring an ego in this battle over the years. I really, really do. But we've poured so much into MIC that I, 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 this one gets me mad, right? Like I'll get a guy where he goes, dude, I've watched your webinars every single Wednesday. I've watched all the free content on YouTube. I've made $80,000. And I'm like, oh, dude, what's your, what's your tag name in MIC? Oh, I've never been in MIC. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like, you could be a monthly member at least, dude. Fucking uh, hell, man. The, the, the thing is funny, man. So the, the, early this week, I posted. Usually, I post stupid shit just to post. Yeah. So I posted, like, I'm, I door dashed alcohol. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> like um, $400 alcohol. Some shit, right? But some expensive alcohol, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I tipped the dasher ten dollars, and everyone's like, "You cheap ass, blah blah blah." And I'm thinking here, okay, man, this guy, this guy door dashed me Taco Bell. I give him ten bucks. He's pretty damn happy. And the, there's no difference between door dashing me a bottle of alcohol and, door, and Taco Bell, right? But yeah. everyone's saying, "Now you're cheap." But then I'm thinking, all these other guys are here telling me this. They're watching our free videos for years, making money, but has, can't even fucking join. <laughs> so. I'm like, you know, the, the cheapness is kind of like relative, but the thing is, if someone gives you value, you would think we got to like, what, what the value? This guy's bringing me a bottle of alcohol. I'm giving him $10 and people call me cheap. Here I am educating someone to make them financially independent. And yeah, for a too, lifetime, literally for a they're, lifetime. They're too, they're too damn cheap to pay even $9 to join. Guys, I hate to say it, but you do realize one year of MIC can theoretically let you learn, teach you how to trade for the next hundred years. Like, like one year? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's just mind-boggling to us. I mean, sometimes I just, I just don't. So, like, guys like DJ asks, I'm, this is not you. I'm not pointing out TJ. I think I see your name over and over. I just, I'm really curious. Why are you not in MIC? Yeah, we ask this on a general scale. It's not personal. You know what? If, that's what people don't understand. If you answer me, maybe we'll give you free MIC. <laughs> I gave, gave out so many free MICs already, you know? Oh, man. We just want to make the best, like, yeah, company, but it's really a community. We, we Every single day, we are back testing, field data testing. We are trying to figure out how to provide you guys with even better content, with more and sometimes we just go like, dude, if you're not in, like, are we doing something wrong? Do you need something better? Do you need something further? Do you need something stronger? You know what I mean? Oh, well, gotcha. Okay. Well, that's, that's the answer. That's all you need to say. You that's are a not. great answer. And that's a great you are not, answer. You are not a USA. That's what I'm saying. So it is really expensive, correct, yep. from a third world country. I no doubt about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you something. Be brutally honest with someone. If you cannot afford $99, it's very difficult to have money in your stock account to trade. You can't be trading with like $50. It's very difficult to be trading with $50. You can, obviously. I wish you the best of luck. But for the majority of people out there, you need a little money. So that's why we price this to the point where, okay, man, $99 one month. Uh, TJ, I think he lives in Mexico or whatever. So I, it, it's totally understandable. I don't mind, TJ. But... For those living in the United States, you guys are freaking going out. You have an iPhone and all this stuff, right? So $99 is not that much for a United States person. Yeah, 100%. This, this is one of those specific examples where, TJ, you're the fucking man for telling us, dude. And I love that. And, dude, I, I mean, Val, I don't know about you, but I almost want to reward this guy for the honesty and going out of his way. Hey, TJ, text, text, te TJ, text Hoss. We'll give you a free month. DJ, you just got a free month for answering us, buddy. I want to help you. So text me at 213-458-5997. Uh, send your you got to prove yourself that you're TJ. <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you have to prove your TJ. 
but TJ, give me your email as well. And if you've already had an account at MIC, I'm going to reactivate that for a free month, buddy. Thank you for answering that. Seriously. That helps us. That helps us. We because want I want to help you. Help. I want to be able to help everybody around the world. And I, I totally understand. $900 is a ton of money, man. Yeah, seriously. So we don't want, we did not know what the answer is yet, but, um, you know, we we're, we're trying to get, take that into account as well. Dude, uh, yeah, and, and and dude, we love honesty, man. MIC was built on honesty. It was about t shouting out all the scam competition or saying- Hey, maybe, Josh, maybe this, man. What's that, maybe, buddy? Maybe we'll have a, a, a program for like the harder hardship countries. Yeah. Like 50 bucks or some shit like that, right? Dude, I'm telling you, the sky's the limit. Yeah, you, you, just need, answers, you, just, learn. you just need to show us your passport or something that proves you're from those, those countries. Correct. Maybe that is, you know, we don't know what it is yet. Well, but and, and, and Bao, we should talk about this for a second because, dude, this is a rant in itself. You guys have to understand how fucking spoiled you are in the U.S., man. If you're like, oh, I don't have enough money, but you're not working two shifts a day like we did back in the day for years. Like, Bao's right, dude. People complain about fucking, dude, the fact that you can get water and a roof over your Like, think about, dude, some third world countries where you, like TJ just said, dude, the average salary is $400 a month. These are people that we have to help, man, in a different way that's fair to everybody else. Like, dude, if you're in the US, I'm sorry. All you have to do is work fucking two jobs, dude, and you will make a decent living. Like, it, like when, too many people I are mean, spoiled, I, here, man. I, I was born in a third world country. I was born in Vietnam. There are a lot of people that wake up in those countries. The first thing they do is, how am I going to feed myself and my family? Correct. It's not a matter of, okay, what do I need to do to buy an Xbox today, right? Now, we I take, I, we I, take I, the necessities. The, we take water, food, and shelter for granted. Val, I heard a statistic recently. Now, I don't know the, how accurate the numbers were, but it's more of the ideology behind it. But the statistic said that 75% of the world lives on two fucking dollars a day. Is that, do you think that's true? Dude, I'm pretty damn sure it is because Vietnam. Like, right? Like, at least it's probably a huge percentage. Three, of Vietnam is three to, two, two to 300 bucks a month, average. So we ask you guys, you know, when, when we do ask these questions, and thank you so much, TJ, for answering, like, what is keeping you? Because if you be honest with us, dude, we can do better. We can create something that if you prove to us your fucking salary, dude, is $300 a month or 400 we will help. We will adjust for you. You know, like, we'll figure something out. Because we want everyone to have the equal opportunity, man. We want everyone to learn. Like, that's the point. Like, if we didn't stand by that, man, then we don't stand behind the fucking mission statement that is MIC, which is to help everybody and create the best community possible. It's not about to make money. It's not about to get rich quick. Dude, and, and for the trolls out there who think that we get rich quick on this shit, you guys, you guys want our jobs, man? We'll show you how wrong you are. <laughs> oh, shit, Val, dude. It's, I've been, I've been up. I've been up since like 5 a.m. man, working my ass off here, sitting here. Seven, day, seven days a week, yeah, they think this we're getting super rich on this. Actually, <laughs> I could get a job somewhere else making more money than this, trust me on that. Like, that was like, dude, I could get paid more at Best Buy with all the hours I'm logged in now, I see. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Oh, man. <coughs> I, I, think, I think it goes back to the, you know, the video you saw <gasps> the other day. Damn, Val, you all right? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I'm choking on his sheep. I was like, I was like, are you eating something? The henny goes down hard these days, bro. <laughs> I think that the video <coughs> a few weeks ago, man, was so wonderful in that a lot of Americans, and it does bother me because I always look at, you know, I've got some friends, man. I got a friend that my best friend makes 400 grand a year. He's so fucking ungrateful sometimes. I'm like, dude, instead of I have to wake up for work today, I get to wake up for work. Instead, I have to call this person. I have to answer these emails. I get to do those things. Like, dude, it's all of perspective, man. Yep. Like and that video I posted, right, Tosh? What's that? That's my video I posted. Yeah, yeah, the, that's what I was saying. The video that you posted like a week or two ago, bro, That I love that shit, man, because, because the more inner peace and appreciation or gratitude that you put in your own life, dude, it's going to show up in your trading. And that's why we talk, we don't talk about this stuff just to be, you know, Buddhist or better people. We talk about it because, dude, it's going to help you in your trading. It always comes back to the analogies of life. If you're looking at everything from a glass half empty, you're going to look at the charts that half glass empty. Your executions are going to be glass half empty and you're going to be fucking terrible and you're going to lose your hard-earned money. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm telling you, man, it's all symbolic. Let me show you the video. RNXT. What is RNXT? Let's see. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I hate to call people out, but when this guy says dip by opportunity, that's that's someone trying to get out. Yeah, that's that's there. That, that's a pump. Um, yeah, look at look at this guy. I'm gonna play this for a sec. Uh, hold on one sec. Let me go to the link. Let me play this real quick. This is unbelievable, dude. One of the biggest things with gratitude is most days it's I got to do this to I get to do this. You know, I wake up and I go, oh, fuck, I got to work on this painting. I got to go pick up some food. I, I got to go speak at this event. And I just switch that from got to I get to. I get to wake up and be a painter. I get to eat delicious foods. I get to go speak at a conference where people are interested. So when I switch I got to to I get to, that's where gratitude comes in. Dude, I love that so much, man. But for hell, we've been preaching gratitude for years, man. This is nothing new. We preached it on freaking Twitter and everything before MIC. Like, this is just who we are. Like, that's what we always kind of believe in, right? Yep. Yep. All right. Anybody with specific questions? If somebody says, look, this is a dip by opportunity or I'm looking like this is a huge opportunity, obviously, guys, he's very stuck in the position. And whoever it is, I'm not singling even this person out. But Look at, look, look, look at, the, fuck, look at the fucker, 1980 photo. <laughs> he's, probably, he's probably in a coffin one one arm one, half his body's already Antonio <laughs> this is back when the spy was trading at like fifty dollars a share. <laughs> um the point is guys is do not follow people with an agenda. He's probably stuck, whoever this guy is. And if he's he stuck the service or some shit like that too. So. Yeah, so be careful. This is not a dip by opportunity. Wear a fucking tie, guys. Come on. Yeah, seriously. That's not what Wall Street <laughs> looks like. <laughs> not anymore. I mean, Motherfuckers wearing a tie. Seriously. Could you guys give some advice if I should locate all of the stocks on Alex's watch list ahead of time, or is it better to locate some of them as they develop? Oh, Bao said this recently, actually. I'm going to let him say it. Say that again. Uh, he's, he's basically asking, if I read Alex's right. watch list in the morning, should I locate everything 100% or should I do it as yeah, we know. go along? First of all, we have videos. You know the answer, man. Come on. <laughs> you, you locate the ones that you think that you can fill that you like to do. Yep. You're not a sheep. We give you the watch list. doesn't mean that you basically run and trade everything that's on the watch list. That's not how it works. The watch list is intended for you to learn from it so happens that, of course, you can copy that shit, <laughs> but that's not our intention, right? Our hey, 92% win rate, just saying. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's up to you. You can locate. What I do is this. I go in the morning. I find all the cheap locates from the stocks one trade. I locate them all. That's my cost of doing business, but that's because I trade them all. You, as a new member, as a new trader, may not trade them all. So you would just be wasting locates. First of all, you have to... So what you do is you figure out the top ones that you like and locate a size, a starter size that you like. And I locate it so that just because, just because like, dude, I trade most of the, the shares I fucking locate, right? Yeah. So if I lose, I mean, if I don't use it, I don't use them because I'll make more than I locate. But for you, <laughs> the locates might be too expensive for you too. So be careful on that. Well, and, and let me chime in with, with kind of a thought. So Gentile, when you paper trade for a couple weeks to a month, and, and you, obviously you don't have to pay for locates cause you can just, you know, just do it on the, you know, like a DOS free platform. You're going to really realize, man, that like, this is what happens or this is what I trade, or maybe I see Alex's watches, but my process, which maybe not exactly Alex's, maybe I'm only comfortable with two out of the watches and not eight of them or six of them, whatever's on radar that day. You're going to mm -hmm. realize brother, I, this is why you got to paper trade for the first two weeks to at most a month. So you don't get comfortable with the training wheels always on, but you're just going to realize, man, that it's, it's not about trading everything that's on the watches. Cause Alex is, that's just pure FOMO. It's within <laughs> Alex's watch list. What do I resonate with? What do I like? Thou you <laughs> sneaky son of a, oh boy. So, um, exactly right. Tosh paper nice, trade, nice. paper trade and see what size you like. Predefine your risk, predefine, pre trade your thing, write it down on a piece of paper. Yep. I always advise everybody to write down the trades on a note card. So when you write down your plan, you can look at your plan and follow your plan. And, 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 yeah, and Gentile, never locate something that you are very unsure if you're going to trade or no, you're not going to trade. You just think that, hey, just because it's up and everybody else has opportunity, I should get them too because of FOMO. Trust me, man, there's such a thing as locating shares out of FOMO just because oh, oh my god everybody's doing it I gotta do it too dude I've been there 
you got to locate just what you know you're going to trade, man. It don't locate something on, oh my God, 10% chance I might feel comfortable. That You're just going to waste money, man. Like, that, that's my opinion. That's more of a subjective opinion. If it's right? cheap, if it's cheap enough, just locate a little bit. Well, that's true. If it's really fucking cheap to get some. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Depending well, on. I'm more, I'm, I'm more advanced. I know that I'll trade them eventually throughout the day. No, I, mean, I don't uh, think there's a ticker you don't trade. <laughs> there's a bunch of them that I, I could, it didn't bounce for me, but. Bow not only, Bow not only um, locate. <laughs> Dude, Bao not only locates what's on the watch list, he, he locates what's on a future watch list. <laughs> like, you can see the future. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. It wasn't so bad. Let me show you what I located there. Oh, shit. So, these are just on the Cobra side. Oh, yeah. I have another account, but it's on the yep. Cobra side. I mean, it's not that much, but let me show you. Yeah, let's see. <clears throat> they wasn't bad. They was cheap looking, so I'm, I'm okay with locating. See what I mean, guys? He trades everything. <laughs> I love it. There you go. What's your ass, man? <laughs> Two and above? Dude, seriously, not not even it looks like. It doesn't even look like. Oh, maybe, maybe. You got the 54 and you got the 71. <laughs> yeah, that, that definitely brought it to 200. Well, that fucking right. clue, I, so clue I did not trade a single share today, never bounced. But I located the starter size at least. Uh, let me pull that up. Hold on one second. Clue. Yep. See, guys, this is what we're talking about. Sucker never bounce. Yeah, God, those are just such subpar bounces. There's not much. I mean, the 20 cents of range, so, that's all you can snag out of this. Like so here's, here's also a little tip, guys. I spent 72 bucks to locate just 1,000 shares of it, right? I mean, that's yep. like a size, right? But like $72 is a lot of money, man. Or shit that I won't use, right? So a yep. lot of guys, okay, I, since I locate it, I must use it. I'd rather lose seventy one dollars than get fucking trapped and lose a thousand dollars sorting early. Because isn't that funny? When you feel you have to lose it, guys, I swear to God, you are gonna lose more than what the locate costs out of FOMO. You will, hundred percent. I locate it, so now I have to use it. That mindset is devastating. It's I'm not gonna show you what I look at me. So, dude, this is like more expensive broker shit. Over oh, still the cheapest. <laughs> Look at, look at some of the shit I located. It's red show. Yep. This shit costs a ton of money, man. Fuck. Yeah, that is a lot of money. Wow. That I mean, because like, let's see, 41, 41, 41, 55. I mean, that's easily 400 bucks. No, like it's 82 bucks, 67, 67. Fuck, I spent too much. Yeah. Holy shit. You see that, guys? Locates and add up a ton of money. I made, I made a few thousand bucks, so it covers the locates on this account, obviously, but <laughs> fuck, man. I, I how much I spent? I'm fucking putting it in a spreadsheet. Damn. This, this is what Val's bar tab looks like in a freaking nightclub. <laughs> that is my bar tab. <laughs> That's That's so funny. Funny. That's this is his tequila shot tab. Holy <laughs> shit. I don't know how to fucking add this shit up, man. Holy shit, it's a lot. When we go to when we go to a Bevmo, because we're about to rage, dude, this is what the reposado looks like, dude. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, there's a lot. <laughs> F O W L fear of wasted locates. That's actually a nice term, man. Oh shit. Okay. Let me add it up. Oh fuck. I put it on an Excel spreadsheet. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh this is gonna suck. Don't look though. Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is bliss. Don't look. Wow. I spent a thousand dollars, nine hundred sixty-seven dollars on that one account. Fuck. Damn that's that one I made, I made, man, I made like thirty three hundred bucks only. Dude, you know what's crazy? I spent 30% on fucking locates. Bro, look at how much little money adds up. That does not look like a thousand, but it is. That's crazy. I, I swear to God, I thought that was like 600 tops. Yeah, I mean, I fucked up, man. This because of the BBIG shit. It costs a ton of money, man. Yeah. And I don't, I didn't, it didn't take enough for me to make money. It's fucking BBIG is so fucking hard. <laughs> and, and ANY was also a, a red show. You know what though, to, guys, to spend a thousand and to make what three or four—that's pretty fucking blessed. Even still, even being sloppy on locates, seriously, or maybe not having the opportunity that you thought you could have—that's that's still fucking sick. Today's a slow fucking day, so I'm just grinding it out a fucking day. I know that fucking locates gonna cost me a ton. Let me show what I made today. Today's one of those days where, man, today is a day where basically it's hard work, man. It's a slow ass fucking grinding day. It really was. Okay, it costs a ton of money because it's all rich show. 
Dude, how, how, how many times do we post in the morning, man? Like, dude, if you don't trade today, you don't have to. This is not one of those. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying, dude. Bell just made it slightly over 4,000, spent about 1,400 ish in locates. And uh, it's just the cost of doing business some days. Yeah, fucking sucks, bro. Yeah, it really does, man. It is then what you, it is, but yeah. Then Uncle Sam gets their half. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> It's like, dude, my, my best friend who makes like $400,000 a year, dude, doing sales and shit. He's like, bro, I feel like I'm paycheck to paycheck. I'm like, yeah, dude, you can thank Uncle Sam for that shit. Oh, man. But that, that, this is a life of a trader, guys. Short selling is very expensive. Um, it, I mean, nice. Oh, nice. I, I, had, I had to make 1400 bucks just to break even. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Guys, we said 220 is the line. We said 220 is the line. That's exactly right. Not a super, super duper liquid stock or a crazy stock in play. But again, watch EFT, EFTR for the sake of a uh, scalp or a nail and bell on something like this. So if the opportunity is there, you can capitalize on it. Nice job, Val. Any other questions, guys? Do you have questions about locates? Do you have questions about kind of like what to expect with that? That was a good question, Gentile. I'm glad you asked that. Tons of reg show lately. Yes. And that's just, you know, those are market cycles, man. Sometimes they happen. And then sometimes you're like, I haven't seen a reg show for a freaking two weeks. It happens. Reg show sucks, dude. Fuck it really me. does. It really fucking does, dude. Because the, 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 the thing that sucks about it is like eliminating freedoms, right? It's like, oh, I, I can't trade this stock or I don't get to or, you know, I mean, fuck, dude, we could rant for hours on the PDT rule on how, oh, we claim to save your account. So we're going to risk it. Fuck you. No, you don't. There's such an agenda behind the PDT rule, dude. It's not so you can keep traders from losing their money. As a U.S. economy, you want the money in the markets. Are you kidding me? It's so stupid, dude. <clears throat> <coughs> but, that's, but you know what, man? That's that's like owning a small business. Being an entrepreneur, you got to pay for rap, man. That's, that's part exactly, of the rap. That's exactly right. You got to pay to play in this life, man. If you want nice things, or you pay want rent, you pay electricity. That's what it is, man. Dude, I'll tell you, man. This may correlate to trading a little bit, but more so life. I'll tell you something, man, when you don't have the money yet, you fucking work for free. You do whatever you can to provide value for the service or whatever you're trying to get in question. And I'm not talking about trading or MIC. I'm talking just more of a, I can't tell you how many jobs in the film industry before stocks or this and that. I said, dude, I will work for free because I believe in this. I believe in networking. I believe in partnership. I'm telling you, man, people that just wait. Do you, see, you see my mentality, guys? I expect to make money. I have no doubt by me. I prepaid like $1,000 a day to locate. So I expect to make money. And that's because if, if I follow the process, I will make money. There's no doubt in my mind. Will I do it? Of course not. Every single day, of course not. That's because I fuck up. I'm human. I fuck up. That doesn't mean the process is flawed. But notice what Val just said, guys. He's not coming in the day scared to locate and then going, oh, my God, I could lose, though. He's going, no, dude, I have a process, and I'm going to win. I'll tell you something, man. If you believe in the esoteric or law of attraction, Val's got that fucking shit down. <laughs> I come in, expect to win. I expect the paycheck. That's Ooh, how you should be. If, if you don't expect to win, don't fucking come in. Start learning. So that's, that's where – Fucking that's gambling. Like that, dude. Like, so there's a difference between a gambling mentality. A gambler goes, I hope to win. They don't think they're going to win all the time. I expect to win every fucking day. No joke. I am mad when I don't win, guys. That's That's, a I've seen it firsthand, man. It's now has the losing process. Thing, rare. He's I, <laughs> trading is not gambling. Once you know the process, and the process is a winning process. Gentile says, it's amazing how confident you are in your process that you're able to put hundreds of dollars ahead of time. Dude, that's Gentile. There's even levels to this shit, dude. Bao even says in his, you know, day and age now, he's more of a calm trader. Bro, imagine in his prime or Alex in his prime right now, Alex will spend twenty to thirty thousand dollars in locates if he knows he can make ninety. That is the process when you know you got a process brother you are not scared to locate you are excited to pay them you're excited to give your broker fucking money because you are going this, to this, annihilate it this confidence is why we started mic because the show Correct. Works. our stuff works these other guys are doing it because they they want to make money it's a money graph for most of these guys we do this because we know our process works 
How many people in MSN have we helped? Dude, dude, hold on, Bell, let's, let's show it. Where, where's it? Hold on one sec. Dude, where's our testimonials again? Again, like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? Guys, spend three minutes on this and you will be floored. If you think any, if you think even one of these is a paid actor, you're, I'm here to tell you you're wrong because we don't have to do that. Go to our My Investing Club page, look at what people are saying, look at what people have said for three, four years, and you're gonna understand why. But go to the Instagram, <laughs> this face always kills me, dude, I remember that night. I'm all like, oh, about <laughs> gone off the hammy. That was fun, dude. Um, but dude, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, you just gotta read. I have to tell you guys, man, just follow the process, guys. When you lose is because of your lack of discipline. When I lose my lack of discipline, I I deviate from the process, I lose. When we stick to the process, I can't remember the last time Alex lost. So <laughs> Dude, you, know what, you, you know what's funny about like that, that would being your tab partner. That was so set and good at what he does in process. Dude, when he loses, I swear to God, dude, sometimes he's so pissed sometimes or so like, I literally cannot believe I lost it. Like he can't even fathom it because he's so good at his process. He's like, holy shit, dude. If I lost on that, I think everybody on Twitter must have lost on that because I should not have lost on that. But again, when it comes back to trading, you do not win 10 out of 10. You can win eight out of 10, you can win nine out of 10, but that is why we do hard stops. Cause that one time you lose, if you're a stubborn fuckhead, you're out of this game, out of this industry. It could be one trade. We all, we all have slip ups. That's why you have to use max data loss thing like that. Cause I'm telling you, man, even the best of us go crazy. Correct, correct, correct. Alex is a rare case, James, because Alex is- hey, That's so he leaves. That's because he leaves, do other work. But if the longer you stay at the casino, the more chance the more opportunity that they will fucking fuck your mind up, then you will lose. Correct. Alex is Alex is a rare case though, James, because Alex is probably the most detached from money person I've ever met in his life. Dude, I'm not kidding you. He's about legacy. He's about building. He could make seven hundred thousand dollars in a day. He's done it. And guess what? He gets more excited when we find out how to provide more value for you guys at MIC than him making seven hundred k. He does not. He is so detached from the money. It's not about money. It's about process. It's process. about being good. The process. the process that we teach for short trading, I I can't believe I, I don't know when the last time I lost before 10 30. All my losses are after because that's when the zombie hits and all that Ooh. stuff. So 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 if you're a short seller, man, work the first hour, get the fuck out, and you yep. hardly ever would ever lose, like Alex. I stick around because someone got to educate the room, man. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, dude, it's a, it's, it's, it's about once you're Picasso, man, all you care about is, did I do my brush strokes right? Did, did I do the outlines right? Did I shade it right? Like, dude, when you are a master of an industry of whatever it is, now you just focus on, did I do my process? And that could equate to anything. HLBZ, what the fuck is this random? Do not, guys, do, look at this daily chart. Do be safe, be cautious. Do not, this is bullshit. I would not. <coughs> B say this is so stupid. Look at this. This pumpers probably lose <coughs> one what? candle from nine to freaking thirteen. Two candles, one pair. Like this is just not a tradable stock. <coughs> what are we talking about those? Uh, HLBZ just got on the radar. Be careful of shit like this, guys. H what? <laughs> HLBZ, uh, Bill Zarian. <laughs> yeah, HLBZ. Be careful of stuff like this, guys. Be careful. <coughs> hard to have a process with something like that. It's a lip. <laughs> LBs. <laughs> LBs. You gave me a FOMO. <laughs> man, you sound like you're dying over there, bro. <laughs> chips, man. That was your educating you guys dying on a freaking pack of Lay's chips. I'm telling you, man. It's the it's the dedication of the brand, bro. Seriously, guys. I mean, so, I, most of the days I don't wake up anymore. But then I get I get I always get DM saying, thank you, thank you. I was like, shit, now I got to get up again. <laughs> thank God for two things to keep Val going after all these years. Two things, FOMO and appreciation for him. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. How many times do we wake up, Val, and it's like, oh, fucking FOMO, dude. Oh, my God.
the, the, dude, the funny thing about patterns is you guys will realize like just like in trading the world or people have patterns and any day that Val takes a vacation alex will bank he'll see alex's pno and be like fuck what i miss what i miss what I miss. <laughs> that's the first text of every morning the next day <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I missed a really big day, Alex. What'd you do? <laughs> this is hysterical, dude. Yeah. Because yeah. If, if Alex makes money, I make money, right? Because we trade the same way, so. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Spitting image of each other. It's not the money, the fact that fuck, man. I hate missing easy shit. But it seems like every day you do the process right is easy shit, right? Yeah. Well, that's that's definitely what we're trying to teach people, and we are doing a good <laughs> job of that. I mean, like four 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 point four k today, just. Just waiting, waiting around. Boring ass slow day too. I mean, that's that's a decent day, I guess. Dude, but Val, Alex said it <clears throat> yesterday. We screenshot it. Alex is like, dude, this is a superpower once you learn it. It's a fucking superpower. Yep. <clears throat> this is why, you know, man, guys, you, you guys really need to learn this. All the process. Don't make – man, I, I'm seeing stupid – I'm not – here, I'm not going to – maybe – they're teaching I'm, – I'm in these other rooms, right? I'm in most of these rooms. I'm just listening to the shit they say. It's the dumbest fucking shit. I, I'm like, how the fuck people making fucking money, dude? Yes, you're talking, talking about the 50 day EMA dips. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> this stock just started moving two days ago. I mean, 50 day EMA. <laughs> 50 day. How long, I mean, how long you hold this shit? I <laughs> hold this shit for five minutes. I need the five minute EMA. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're a crack. Oh my up. god, they're talking about all because that's because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Oh my god, the fuck can make himself feel smart. 50 day, I, I saw a 34 day. I mean, what the fuck, 34 day? He was making shit up. 34 man. day, <laughs> how'd you come up with 34 day EMA? Oh my I don't god, say it, they, they might be in our room, but whoever <laughs> I'm scrolling through, they're pump rooms, man. These guys are just fucking pumping shit. That's because their their average holds by 38 because all their fucking back holders, right? So, oh my god, be careful, oh, guys. Be, be fair, be careful. All this fucking shit you see, yeah, guys. Fucking, I don't want to say shit, but I'm just shaking my head, man. There's 99% of people out there should not be fucking educating anybody. They don't know what the fuck they're doing for themselves. And they don't even know how to convey the message. It's like, look at their charts, guys. We, I post my charts every day. We'll find someone else that posts their charts every day. Well, and now it's not even just about that. Dude, you sometimes have the smartest guys in the world and maybe they're really good traders and they can't <sighs> educate because they're not good at it. Like, it's like, dude, there's so many people that shouldn't be educating, whether they're not good traders, whether they can't even get a point across. It's like, <clears throat> we do our best every single day, guys, to make sure that we're good educators and we want feedback and we want you guys to say, hey, maybe you do this or you could do this, but like, let us know, man. We're trying to make MIC better every single week. Week, man, even I wish there was a microphone so I can explain things, but in, but if it's a microphone, it's hard to search as well. So I think it's good that there is no microphone for us. So I agree, I agree. Because how can you, you know, um, talking and shit? It's very hard to have logs. How do you have a log of like a two hour? Yeah, because the, because the people that weren't live in chat, how are they going to learn? You were on the microphone, like you can't go. You know what I mean? It's like it, yeah, it'd be tough. The guys are a mic, it's just fucking pumping, man. I swear, they get a mic, they pump, 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 pump. So, how the hell do you educate fucking thousands of people that may or may not log on at the same time as you? They're just there to pump their position to you. Think about this. How the hell? So, like, you get on the fucking, they're on the fucking mic all day long. And now you're at work, you pop in and you see what the hell you hear. All you hear is buy this, buy this, sell this, sell this. Dump this, dump this. Like, like, dude, what was that stock where that guy was playing? Dude, I'm, getting, I'm seriously getting to the point where I'm kind of sick of this. So I don't know how much time I have left to help you guys educate. So I suggest you guys. <laughs> like, like now this one, he'll be on the microphone. Bye, bye. Dip by opportunity. Dip by. I'm like, what the fuck? Maybe, maybe I need another vacation because I, I am. I'm burnt up, man. <laughs> uh, take a vacation, bro. You need it, man. Take a couple days, bro. Where'd you just get back from? You just got back from Paris, bro. Go to Spain. I went there oh. for like two days, so. Dude, go meet up Steven in freaking Estonia, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to Mars and escape everybody. Oh, man. Tell EFTR, me. yep. I don't have any low keys on that, but um, I, I covered the ET, EFTRW with the worms. So, so those, so anything that you miss today becomes tomorrow's possible place guys so tomorrow we are going to hammer all these 
Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I think I'm feeling a little sickly, sickly too, so. Yeah. Any I'm questions, gonna... guys? Any questions on this? You guys, we're, we're not here to sell anything, but hit up Tosh, guys, to join, because I'm fucking tired, man. There might be not much years left in my engine to do this, so. Alex and Tosh and the, the mods, and you guys are going to take over, so I am... <clears throat> Dude, get, it, get it while you can, man. Get it while you can, guys. I'm telling you, man. It's good that you guys are learning this, guys, because this is the legacy that we all leave back. So all of these, you guys are going to be passing down to next year. I hope, I hope, I pray that you're able to teach this. That means that you learned this, and now you've acquired the superpower. Well, and the beautiful thing about it, though, is like, dude, already what we've done with MIC and your legacy, like everything that you've learned and stood for, for the past 20 years, dude, bro, whether it's on Twitter, whether it's in, you know, the first years of MIC, like your legacy will be passed down on the tombstone, man. It will be remembered. Like you've already, you've already, you've already laid that foundation. <laughs> I'd be still trading, bro, on the tombstone. It'd be the <laughs> LED of a chart somewhere. <laughs> dude, Bow's tombstone will literally say two things, where the honey's at and have fantasy orders drawn on them at the top of that corner. But guys, seriously, man, this is, I mean, this, this is a true superpower. Once you learn this, I can you don't understand. I can bring a fucking laptop and make money anywhere. I'm going to show you this thing. Well, right. Dow could actually do it on a phone. We've seen that many times. Oh, yeah. Dude, I made more money on the phone than most people. Like, just, just walking around Paris, right? <laughs> dude, I was, sick of that, dude. I was making $3,000 a day in Paris on my phone. <laughs> around, right? so, that's because things were moving, right? Today, it was like really tough. No, no, nothing was really moving. So, let true. me take a look at Let me show you this. What someone showed me. Here we go. Let me let me show you this. This is from a member, man. This is what brought me. I got this really early in the morning. Oh. Hey, man, just want to say thank you for all that you do. All the times you shared trading from a laptop, a phone while on vacation has been eye-opening. Went on a vacation last week to see my GPA, uh, oh, grandpa, for his uh, 95th. Traded on my laptop, waited until open, took the easy trades, was done by 10 a.m., and made in four days what I would have worked 50 to 60 hours for at my job. Thank you for truly changing my life and being an inspiration that you are. That's awesome, man. That's I mean, that's awesome. the thing, guys. You see what he did? He worked when the easy money was there, then he stopped, and that's what life's all about, man. Sometimes we forget, like, we do this to be free, to have freedom, but then I end up, you know, we, we, we end up being stuck here for eight hours. And I'm just staring outside my window like, man, I can't. <laughs> so sometimes right. we, we all have our ups and downs, you know, so. Now, remember, I told you you'd cry when this hits 1040, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't look, don't look at BBIG. <laughs> Dude, even ATR tank down, too, so. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, they're all like that, so shit. Um, Tosh and Val <clears throat> will be back in three months working the AM shift. If you're watching, I signed up for the 30 days half off and signed up for the boot camp. Great education with the tab community, aiming for a yearly plan in, and in the future, a lifetimer. Uh, X Ross, who just said that on YouTube, brother, hit me up whenever you're ready to come back. Um, we would love to have you. I'm so glad you found value. You know, save up some money with those AM shifts, get your life right, and then take trading super, super seriously, man. And that's the roadmap. Seriously. Yep. We will honor whatever for you, bro. When you come yep. Back. Yep. <clears throat> that. That's awesome, man. Well, guys, let's uh, let's wrap this up because I think uh, I think that was pretty tired. I'm dead, my throat is hoarse, dude. I'm like, Ugh, I feel like a scratch too. I'm like, oh shit. Oh man, time for me to fucking take a shot or something. Yeah, man, I gotta go grab some food, guys. You're freaking awesome, man. We love doing these webinars because I'm telling you, man, we are trying to get as much data from you guys on YouTube as ever, so we can make this community just even better than it is, man. So, Val, thank you so much for coming. Thank you guys for coming, and you know we'll be here next Wednesday, man. Seriously, I'm hoping to come later. Bye. Right. Oh, 1020, bro. Oh, shit. Okay, don't look. <laughs> All right. Uh, if I was in, it'll go with 12 bucks. So, yeah. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right. See you, Val. See you guys. Okay, thanks.